Hello and welcome and today we're going to be talking about something that not many people in India actually talk about background scoring First of all, I would like to start this video by saying that I am not a background composer. I don't intend to be a background composer. I'm just a guy who loves music. My day begins with music, my day ends with music, and for most part of the day, I have a lot of music with me. And the amount of music that I've listened to in my life, well, it's, it's, it's a lot, basically. Now, we come to background scores. What is a background score? What is the difference between the music director of the film and the music composer of the film? People usually think that the music director himself is responsible for the music that plays in the background of all the scenes in the film and that is actually not true at all because the music director, while he composes all the songs for the film, the music composer actually composes the background score, the background music that plays through the entirety of the film. It's like composing one stretched song which plays throughout the entirety of the film. While the intention of the music that plays as songs is completely different, the intention of a background score is basically to provide depth and meaning to each and every scene of the film. It's a very subconscious thing that we feel when we listen to a background score while we watch a scene on, on, on the big screen. Whatever drives my heart or usually every human being's heart, I think, in my opinion, it is better felt in something that is a lot more orchestral or symphonic than the commercial music that we usually listen to and I ever since I was a child I used to love background scores and all my friends and my family used to say now my journey actually began with this this is a this is an audio tape of the movie Bombay Mani Ratnam's movie Bombay and uh, I think it came out in uh, 1994 and it's <laughs> it cost 26 rupees and these little background scores always used to be on side two of uh, of the tape and even over here it says side two song number two bombay theme and i remember i used to listen to that over and over again uh, it's it was just it was just a very whimsical experience and the background score of this movie was of course composed by the wizard that we know as A.R. Rahman. He was the one who actually got me into background scores. And then came many other beautiful movies like uh, uh, like Dilse and uh, Zubeda. And I remember this movie, the music of this movie, Maches, was also very, very fine, very fine music. After all these movies, there was a bit of a dry spell as far as background scoring was concerned in the Indian film industry. At which time I actually shifted my focus to Western movies and I've listened to background scores by these wonderful wizards actually. Like James Honor, Steve Jablonski, Hans Zimmer, Howard Shore and so many others. And it was during that time that I actually discovered the difference between the reception of background scores in the Hollywood industry and in the Bollywood industry. And there are people in the Western countries who are so creatively liberated that they actually want to listen to a background score on its own without the film like I did back then and I still do now of course. And I always used to think that why does this not happen in India? I actually had the privilege of talking to one of the most talented background composers that Bollywood has seen or will see more of in the future and he told me that in India background scoring is not so popular in demand so that they can actually take the same 
to the publishers to even contemplate a release because it just wouldn't fetch any money. And I think it's an absolute shame because now there are so many wonderful movies coming out with amazing background scores. If you consider uh, Bajira Mastani was there, Bahubali was there and uh, now Padmavati, the background score, oh my god, of that movie is just mind-blowingly amazing. Just, just such wonderful mix and blend of, of vocals and orchestras and, and world music, Indian music, such a beautiful blend of it. And actually, if you go onto YouTube, there are several videos and I think one of the videos probably has 1.8 to 2 million views and it's just amazing. And I'm thinking this is India. Wow. People are actually now waking up now for people like me and those other 2 million people on YouTube. To be able to listen to a background score on a very, very pure level is, I think, a total blessing. Because, yes, you can rip out the background score from each scene of a film, but it just is not the same thing because, because as I mentioned earlier, it's supposed to be a very, very subconscious experience. So the background score in every scene is edited to compensate for the sound effects and the dialogue, which has to be present in that scene. Because the background score, as the name suggests, is to be played in the background. And when you rip out that song from the, from the movie, it's just not the same thing because if it's a vocal track, for example, the vocals will always be subdued to compensate and to bring in or to enhance the dialogue and the sound effects that come into the same scene. And when you listen to that track, you have to make peace with whatever the sound effects, extra sound effects or extra dialogue there is in the film. You can't do anything about it because the background score is just not available in its purest form. And India has produced so many movies and recently background scoring has become so next level. Like for example, um, A.R. Rahman has of course done wonders with background scores. And then Mr. Monty Sharma who's done the background scoring for Ramlila and several other beautiful movies like Black also and other non Sanjali Labansali movies as well. And now Mr. Sanchit Balhara who's actually done the uh, background scoring for Bajira Mastani and Padmavati. And I really wish that we can actually celebrate these artists more because they've created these wonderful pieces of art that just become lost with time to remember and commemorate that. I think a background score helps a lot. Uh, it, it helps a lot, a lot more than usually people think it helps. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I actually made a short film uh, which was selected in the 2016 Cannes Film Festival. I remember working with a very, very talented French composer for that film and I remember the whole score for that film, it was about five different tracks, they were made on WhatsApp, not even WhatsApp call, there was like WhatsApp text messages, frantic text messages throughout. The process took about a week and I still love that soundtrack. If you would like to check out the film, the link is in the description below. As a lover of cinema, I really, really hope that India is able to pick up the background score culture and we can actually see releases of, if not the background score of every movie, probably at least the good ones, at least the good ones. That's all I have for today. If you like these videos, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.